I'd like to demonstrate basic use of the Magic PHP request object. I've prepared a little project here with a libs folder that holds uh, a copy of Magic 1.5 PHP and I have an index file. Now in order to use a request object I need to have Magic PHP included. So the first thing I do is I include libs magic 1.5 PHP and to create a request object I begin by creating a variable that I call request I could call it anything and I set that to hold a new instance of a request object now to demonstrate what a request object is all about I'm going to echo out what I find in the request object using the method get to look for a greeting, for example. Let me run this by a browser. See, by default I get nothing. There is an echo, but as nothing is found by the request object, there's nothing to echo. However, if I add a question mark after the URL here, after index.php, and write greeting equals hello and press enter, I get hello output. And that's because the request object is used as an interface to HTTP variables. And this is an HTTP variable. It has the name greeting and the value hello. The method get looks for a name, in this case greeting, and it returns any value the greeting name may have. And in this case greeting has a value of hello, so the echo will be hello. That is the very basics of the request object. You use it to grab hold of HTTP variables. I'd like to show you how you can um, encode HTTP variables in the URL using a simple HTML structure. Let's have a paragraph here. And inside the paragraph, let's have an anchor with node value, say, hello, and an href attribute with the value index.php question mark greeting equals hello. All right, when I run this file, I get the anchor with the node value say hello, and clicking that, my browser will load index.php question mark greeting equals hello. So when I click it, I get the next echo of hello, because clicking the anchor will encode an HTTP variable in the URL. And that is the basic idea of using a request object. You use it to see how a user interacted with your system. And you build HTML structures that encode HTTP variables so that PHP can register user actions and respond accordingly. Thanks for watching.